Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this card here. Now this one was actually given to me by the lovely Paula, who is part of our Mixed Up Crafters group, and she follows regularly on the live craft alongs, and she sent me this card um, about a month ago now, and I was just really taken with it, and I thought it looked wonderful. So we weren't sure what it was called during the live, um, but we've since found out that it's called a block card or an inside block card or a building block card. So I had a little look on YouTube and I've seen that there's a tutorial from seven years ago by Split Coast Stampers. So it's quite an old style design and um, I just thought it'd be a really fun one to do during the live. So I've made this one here in a five by seven because that's the size I like to do and you can see there how it looks. It's very similar to my tower fold card. So if you've enjoyed that fold, I'll link those ones up here because there's about three different styles that I've done. But I've used all of my new collection on this one. So I've used my new geo papers, which are geode papers, which are lovely, and the makeup set there with all the dyes. I've used glossy accents on the lips and on elements on the stamps there. And also I've used some sequins, which you can see catching, and the holographic cardstock. So it stands up like so. And then on the back, sorry, my glossy accents are a little bit tacky, so I try not to touch them. You've got your space to stamp and write your message. And the whole thing will fit into a five by seven envelope. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so I tend to not do the same card twice, but I'm just building up my stash of cards to send out as like friend mail and as part of the giveaways that I do. If you haven't joined our group the mixed up crafters you can find it on facebook and i'll share the link below and also every monday and friday i do a facebook live and it was during the live that i first made this card and then i tend to do a youtube tutorial to follow so if you'd like to kind of see exclusives youtube exclusives head over to the facebook page and you can uh, just like my page and you'll be able to follow a live and they're really good fun so i've done a template so this is what you need so it's a piece of 11 by 7 and then this is all what I've used. So I've used the sentiments from my new Let's Hear It For The Girls. And then I've used lots of these stamped images here to build up that little kind of cluster. The handbag I've used is just this one here from the handbag set. And the dies are on the back. The dies don't come with, they are separate, but you get all the dies to cut them out as well. And then that's my mats and layers. That's the papers. And I'm just a little bit obsessed well, with all of them, because they're lovely, but with this one here, this palette, everybody was saying how they love the colours, and you can see there the slider card that I made using those same colours, and I just thought, you know what, let's do it again. So that is that set as well to make that card, and I've just pulled out the lips, which is what I've used on the top there. I just really like those ones. Okay, so that's everything that I've used, and as always, that will all be shared in the description box below. So you want a piece of 11 by 7, pop that to one side now. I'll take a picture of that and put it on my blog. Along the 11 inch side you want to score at three, four and a half, six and seven and a half. Okay so that was three, four and a half, six and seven and a half. Then what you want to do is fold it so that you're folding on that third score line. So on that six inch score line, just fold it in half. So on the back here, you've got that one score line and this piece and facing you, you should have these two score lines. You're then gonna pop it like this. So you've got the folded side away from you, pop it back in here. And we're now gonna do these score lines here. And you wanna score at one and a quarter, just down to the first score line. All of these score lines now are just to this first one. So one and a quarter, one and three quarters, three inches, three and a half, four and three quarters, five and a quarter, and six and a half. Just repeat that again. One and a quarter, one and three quarters, three inches, three and a half, four and three quarters, five and a quarter, and six and a half. Okay, and that's what you'll have there. And these are gonna be cut lines, so we're gonna keep it folded in half, and you now wanna grab your scissors, Turn it so it's facing you, and you're gonna cut up all of those score lines that you've just done to that first score line. Make sure you get a nice clean cut, nice and straight, because this is all gonna be on show. So you wanna make sure you keep it as neat as possible. Okay, so now you'll have all of those pieces cut. Turn it back again and open it up. And now what you want to do is this first score line will become a mountain fold. If you burnish each one separately so you're not kind of, you don't want to transfer any of this kind of score line onto other parts of the car because it will kind of leave a bit of a mark. So that one, the next one will then become a valley fold. 
like so. I'm just going to open it up and burnish just so again it doesn't print through. So we've got our mountain valley. That one is already a mountain, so that's the original one that we folded. And then this last one will become a valley. Again, I'm just opening it up just to Again, mountain, valley, mountain, finish with a valley. When you lie it flat, it will fit within that five by seven size. Then with these pieces, you wanna push the one inch sections away. So just push them inside, like so. You see how they come out this side? And then you just want to fold the whole thing in half, and then you'll just be able to burnish the ends. And that's how the card will be nice and flat. Make sure they all line up. And then when they open the card, there is your card shape. Really, really fun and easy to do. Okay, now we want all of our mats and layers. So I've already stuck my layers on top of my holographic card. I want two pieces of your mat layer. So that will be for the front here and for the back if you want to have the back for where you'll write your message. And these pieces measure three and a quarter by six and three quarters, so two pieces. And then the pattern paper to go on top of this one is the same size as this white piece for the back. So obviously that's where I'm writing my message. And that is three by six and a half, so two pieces. Then this one here is to go on the front. So this mat layer is two and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then the pattern piece is two and a half by six and a half. Again, all the measurements will be in my blog. And then I've got this strip here, which will go inside this section here. And this one measures one and a quarter by six and three quarters. And then that small pattern piece is one by six and a half. And then you want eight pieces here. And these are gonna cover each sides of the, the blocks there that we've got. And these are one and a quarter by one. And then the pattern paper is one by three quarters of an inch and you want eight of those sizes. So I've stuck all of them already on top. Now I'm gonna stick them onto here. I'm gonna use my Kalau glue. And then I've also gone ahead and I've die cut all of these pieces and I've colored them. So if any of you do have this paper pad and you want on the live, and I'll link that live as well because you might wanna watch the card. I stamped all these and colored them all during the live. But I've stamped them using this one here, which is the Harmony Spectrum Noir, and it's the Quick Dry. I think they have it also in the opaque and in the water resistant range, but it's the Lagoon colour and it matches perfectly with this paper pad. I'll just put it that way just so you can see the light's quite shy, um, bright there. And then the pencils I've used to colour, I've used the Arteza Watermelon Pink for that deeper colour, and then I've used the Arteza Pink Macaroon, and that pink colour works really well with the pink that's in this one here as well. Okay, so again, I know lots of people like to know the colours that I've used. I've also used the glossy accents, and I'm going to use them um, when we come to decorate. So I'm going to get this all stuck down, and then I'll just talk you through how I build that up. Okay, so that's all my mats and layers stuck down. So again, just pop those bits through, because I had it like, you know, I laid it down flat just so I could do everything. But now you can see... Yeah, lovely card there. Okay, so to decorate, I've got my Hello Fabulous, which I'm gonna have across the top. So I've put some foam on the back of that just to add some dimension. And then I'm gonna use my hot glue to stick it all down, but you can use anything. Um, it's nice to have a bit of dimension. So, you know, stick some of the elements using some foam pads. And um, I just think that's a nice little touch. So we're gonna pop that one there. Hot glue gun here. So I've got the little bow. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of glue on there and just pop that one kind of there. I didn't want it to take away from the hello, but it's kind of just on the top there. And then I've got my glasses, so I popped a bit of glue on each one there. Kind of have that like so. Let me just bring this in just so I can kind of copy what I've done there. So there's that one. And then I'm gonna lay down the handbag. So the kind of the bigger pieces first, and then I've tucked all like the little um, makeup brushes and things like that kind of all in because this glue tape is piping hot. Always work with your glue when it's piping hot, and then you've got time to kind of wiggle it around. You know, you've still got a few minutes before that's really set. Um, so, and then that one is gonna go there, like so. And then it's 
kind of bouncing. Let's pop that underneath there. There we go. Hold it in place. Then I'm going to bring in this one and that can slide in like so. And then just keep kind of, you know, nestling stuff in. And as it's drying, let's do that one there. And then I might trim this one and I can pop it in behind the bag. Like so. And then with these two here and the lips and the other lips, I'm going to pop on the back. So I'll get rid of those blue strings. And then I'm just going to pop some pads onto these and stick the mascara down here and then those lips along the top. Okay, so that's that all stuck down. I'm going to open it up and then I've just got some sequins. A few of these out. And I'm just going to add a few. I want to do all of this before I use the glossy accents because that's kind of the last thing. So I'm just doing a couple of little blobs of glue there. And then lastly, let's just close this back up again. I can add my glossy accents. So I'm going to pop them on the handle of the mascara. I'll bring this up closer in a moment so you can see. All that lovely shine you get, you can see it on the top of the uh, nail polish bottle there and you can see the mascara. I mean it shines like the lips do, I just think it's a lovely addition. So you've got the holographic cardstock there, you've got the shine from the sequins and also that shine from the glossy accents. And uh, yeah, I think it's a wonderful shape. I really, really do like this. So Paula, thank you for sending me that card and inspiring me. Paula was in the uh, chat as well when I actually did case this and show how to make it during the Facebook Live. And uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that's my take on this card style um, in the 5x7 size. So I hope you like it. Two identical cards there. And uh, yeah, everything will be shared below and um, I'll put all the measurements down on my blog as well. So thank you for watching. Just need to hold that one there for a moment. And um, yeah, check out the tower fold cards that should be popping up on the screen now, along with a picture of me. If you um, wanted to subscribe, if you haven't already, if you click on that and hit the notification bell, then you'll be alerted when I next upload a video. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye!